now. 10 of your sides, Aaron Kelly, talked to a roofer about why he's been so busy. Well, it makes sense. When you think about the rain that goes down your roof, it goes down those shingles pretty easily. But when you have that heavy snow, it just kind of sits there, and the melting can be slow, and it can reveal problems that you didn't know you had or it can even create new ones. It's another day. All right. Up on the roof for Michael Longman. Uh, between yesterday and today, probably about 20 to 25 calls. All of them from homeowners dealing with problems caused by the heavy snow. On this day, he's looking for the leak that leads to this bathroom. Major leaks. Uh, you usually get leaks where you never had them before. Snow will definitely tell you where your leaks are after snow like this. But the real work won't start until Mother Nature says so. When I moved the snow back, there's nothing but ice. Too slippery and too dangerous. So what can you do with all the snow on your roof? Wait for the weather to get better. That's all he can do after diagnosing the problem. Then he's off to the next house. That's the way you do it. And now we also talked to him about concerns about roofs collapsing. He said that the big concern with that is mostly when you see a flat roof with a lot of water ponding on it. That's when you might want to be mindful of that. But he also wants to make sure that if you're at home and you've got a lot of snow on your roof, do not get up there in these conditions. And you heard Don mention it's going to get cold, going to be icy again tonight. We're live in Virginia Beach. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.